Hi, wine lovers. This is Aaron from Wine Cult, and welcome back to another Bottle Breakdown. Today, we're diving into the exciting world of the Rhone Valley with this 2022 GSM from Domaine de la Damas. Uh, but before we crack the bottle, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel uh, to join us on this delicious wine journey. So, all right, let's get started. So from the moment we cracked the first bottle, uh, it was clear that this was just a beauty of a wine. Uh, it hails from the sun-drenched vineyards of the Côte de Rhone, uh, crafted by the talented Sebastian Latour of Domaine de la Damas. Uh, it's a blend of three Rhone varietals, three powerhouses, Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedra, uh, each bringing its own really unique personality to the wine. Domaine de la Damas is a family affair. Uh, it's run with a real focus and passion for the land that's being cultivated. Uh, they're totally dedicated, the family that is, to organic viticulture and biodynamic practices. And it really ensures that their wines reflect uh, kind of the essence of the terroir. Uh, and here's the kicker. Uh, Sebastian is known for really playful experimentation in the Côte d'Aron. Uh, so from him, we can really expect a truly unique expression of this classic blend. So Sebastian, uh, ever the traditionalist, ferments each grape separately using native yeast in open top tanks and then letting uh, sort of the individual voices of each varietal sing through. Uh, Grenache undergoes co-fermentation with a partial whole cluster that really infuses the, those grapes or that wine with a peppery sort of spicy textural element. The Syrah, meanwhile, uh, goes through its primary fermentation in open top tanks. It uh, rests on top of the skins to, to really extract that color and texture that you're looking for uh, before going into burgundy barrels uh, to age for just, you know, a, a touch, I'd say, of that uh, oak impact. Finally, the Morvedra, which is the backbone of the blend, um, enjoys aging in, uh, in smaller format demi moods. So you really benefit from uh, greater concentration of the, the barrel. Then, of course, after aging independently, uh, the wines are blended together before going into bottle and doing their final bottle conditioning. Uh, in the glass, this is just a beautiful wine. Uh, it's a very nice garnet hue. Uh, you get aromas of ripe uh, black cherry, juicy plums, um, even a hint of earthy spice swirling around. Um, once you take a sip, it, just prepare to be swept away entirely. Uh, this is a burst of fruit flavors, uh, balanced by a little bit of peppery spice and just a touch of herbal complexity. Um, you get a nice tannic structure, both from uh, the Syrah, but also that Grenache in particular with a partial cluster fermentation uh, really stands up and shines through here. Uh, everything is very fresh. It's a very lively wine, uh, as well as, I think, a, a GSM that I would consider to be quite powerful. The 2022 GSM is really a testament to the magic of the Rhone Valley. Uh, it's a wine that's both familiar for those of you who uh, have grown up on the Central Coast or enjoy Central Coast wines, while also being unexpected with just layers of flavor and personality that shines through. So I really hope you enjoy this delicious expression of Grenache, Syrah, and Morvedra. For more bottle breakdowns and other great wine content, don't forget to subscribe. I'm Aaron from Wine Cult, and I'll see you next time.